Well, hello, hello, ladies, and hey. welcome to a very special episode of SMD Viewpoints. Um, we are all together, as you guys can mm -hmm. see. Yes. We have the married lady, Miss Karen Smith Owens. Mm -hmm. We have the single lady, Mrs. Kimberly Sams, and nice. myself, the divorcee of the group. Um, again, like I said, this is episode 12, and um, I came into town to um, for a different reason, a, a condolences reason, but um, we decided to do a taping, a recording today, um, and God has blessed us to be here together today. And um, our topic for this episode, um, we were researching some things um, on YouTube, and we researched... Um, an episode of Jerry, what, what's the name? I'm sorry. Jerry Pastor, Flowers. Jerry Pastor Flowers. Jerry Flowers Jr. Yes. And he has um, talked about things, about people being in your life for a reason. You know, everybody has heard the phrase, you know, people are in your life for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And we want to kind of touch bases on this topic today. And we have, um, what he talked about was projects, pawns, Parasites and partners, and um, I'm going to start with uh, projects. What does someone being in your life being a project? What does that mean to you? Uh, let's start with Karen, the married lady. Oh, oh well, as he had already informed us, projects are people that we help them. So, but as we were talking about it. And, and been going over the subject for a minute, I was thinking of projects as a potential. These people can have potential, we don't mention that. So I never thought of them as a project, but I can see them as a potential and maybe didn't work out to, to go any further. Mm -hmm. But projects are those that we, um, people that come out that we help. And that could be just like um, our friends, our children. We help mm -hmm. them. They can be a potential project that does not be detrimental to us, but mm -hmm. they are our project as we help them move along in life. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, but um, that's what I see. Okay, um, Kim, how what do you see? You know, as a project. Yeah, Who a project. Do you, yeah what is your definition of a project? Okay, so I base mine off what he did because I've had projects in my life <laughs> um, a project is a person that you meet and you end up you do help this person um but mm -hmm. it's like okay say you meet them and they need a resume or they need to know how to do an llc you know this is what i'm talking about somebody that's trying to be an entrepreneur and they you know or they need this they need that and you're versed in that area or you're versed in that area enough to help them mm -hmm. But that isn't the person just because you're helping them. That means that person is for you. Because a lot of times when you get with somebody that you're helping, you think, oh, well, this person's for me. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the person I'm supposed to be with because I'm helping this person. And I'm helping mm -hmm. this person move forward to move us forward. Mm -hmm. But actually, that's not true. If this is the person that you are just helping. It's just somebody that came into your life uh, that was based off season. Mm -hmm. they, they just came mm -hmm. in off a of season that you helped to get to where they need to go. And usually by helping them, you probably end up helping yourself in some shape, form, or fashion. Mm -hmm. That's what I think the project is. Okay, mm -hmm. what about you? Um, for me, basically, I wanna reiterate, you know, what you two ladies said, you know. Um, a project to me, coming from a social work background, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people come to me for help, for help like with the resumes or um, helping them find a job. And I see that a lot um, in my daily life. People will call me, hey, you know, can you help me out with this? Can you? And that's just my nature. Mm -hmm. That's just, that's mm -hmm. like in my in my genetic makeup for mm -hmm. some reason, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but in a relationship wise, I have had some projects um, in my life, you know, and I've always felt like if I help them out, you know, we can, we're gonna be together. You know, because they need my help. Oh my goodness! You know, right, right, they, you know, right. they need I'm my help. You know, I'm helping them. Woohoo! You know, and I feel like okay, if I help them with this resume, you know, they're going to get a better job, and then they're going to see me as that potential. Mm -hmm. But as Pastor Flowers said, just because you know um, you're helping them, you know, I'm, I'm not going to give you that 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 help because that's really only a wife. 
you know, the help that I give you should be as a wife, not as a potential or not as, like you said, a season, reason, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, um, projects, you, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know it, it it yeah just people just come into your life and mm -hmm. you know and, and some people just need their help mm -hmm. and then they can move on to the next right. and, you know or whatever mm -hmm. so um what about parasites um as pastor flowers you know said a lot of uh, people who are parasites in your life um they are getting the help from you, but you're being stressed because you're helping them out, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so mm -hmm. how do, would you handle something like that, Kim? If you Have you ever had someone in your life that you felt was a parasite? I, yeah, and it's funny because I feel like the person that was a parasite for me, I was a project for him. Okay. okay. Because okay. When, okay. I, when I got sick and I met this person, this person was there to help me. You know, they, I, I would, I don't know if anybody y'all knows the story, but I would fall down. I would have to call them. They'd have to go get the keys. I'm on the ground 30 minutes, and here they come, you know, with the mm -hmm. key to come, you know, pick me up. And because he was helping me all the time, um, I was a project for him. But for me, especially after I got better, now see our our season has changed. Mm -hmm. I'm better now, and now mm -hmm. he is like a parasite because he's still living off of my sickness, you. you know what I'm saying? I helped you, you know, this, this, and that. And that person did, did have a lot of potential. Had a lot of potential for us to go for and be something else, but it ended up, you know, just not working because we could never get past the, I'm not sick anymore, Mm -hmm. to living in my healthiness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not sick anymore. So mm -hmm. now you don't have to be there to come pick me up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now I need you to be here just as somebody that can stand with me, not right. for me. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Karen, parasite, what is your definition? And have you ever had a parasite in your life or? I've been pretty blessed. I didn't have a, have not had no parasites. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suck, but um, at, at, in, 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 in relationships, but I have been very helpful to people or what have you that you uh, allow them to um, suck you dry, mm -hmm. stress you out, mm -hmm. you know, do what you have to do, and then realize, hey, I'm the only one doing all the work, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily in the man and, and woman or what, lover and, and, and husband thing, mm -hmm. but, but yeah, I have met people that you like, oh. This is just a tad bit too much. I'm mm -hmm. pretty strong, but I can't take care of everything and right, everybody. Right, right. Sometimes you have to step back and be like, okay, as we said, the season is over with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the season right. has passed right. on. Right. You can let go now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you can let go now. No, no, I'm going to let you let go. I'm going right. to let you, you go. Right. I'm going right. to right. let you let right. go. Right. I'm done. Right. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a wrap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, a lot of people um, know my story and know that I'm trying to come out with a book, uh, My Not in Chain Armor, and um, I have dealt with I who I call a parasite. Mm -hmm. And um, while he, while I was loving him in the open, mm -hmm. he was loving me in private. Mm -hmm. And he would always say, you know, I was like, well, you're trying to keep me a secret. You know, and he's like, no, I'm just trying to keep our relationship private. Mm -hmm. And I've always had, I always had to tell him that there's a difference between privacy and secrecy. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, and, and you know, he's like, no, no, no. But I've always felt that. And while I was blessing him, and I'm, I'm gonna say the word blessing because mm -hmm. I, I felt that I was a blessing to him. Mm -hmm. You know, he was stressing me out, mm -hmm. and to the point, you know, where. Um, I was having problems at my job and, you know, a lot of other different things that, then it'll all be detailed. So, you know, <laughs> just, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Right, stay tuned. Right, right. We all detailed in my book. But, you know, and, and as Pastor Flower said, you know, we always, a lot of women um, always equate good sex with he's the one. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and that's not necessarily the case. Mm-hmm. Right. That's, you know, because while he's giving you good sex, he's probably giving you good sex to somebody else. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You know, so, and he was definitely, this person was definitely um, a lesson. So mm-hmm. it was a it was a lesson, you know, charming personality, you know, but, you know, he was a wolf in sheep's clothing. Right. So, you know, and, mm-hmm. and he... This person is definitely a definition of, to me as a parasite. Mm-hmm. So, um, and that goes hand in hand with the project because to me, you know, I was like, here I am, I'm mm-hmm. helping, mm-hmm. you know, I'm writing resumes, mm-hmm. you know, I'm helping mm-hmm. finding jobs, you know, and buying mm-hmm. cars so him and I both get back and forth mm-hmm. to work, you know, mm-hmm. and then in the end, I was like, uh, no, right. mm-hmm. no, I, I, I can't do this, mm-hmm. you know, I, I can't do this anymore. Now, to me, that person to me sounds like a pawn okay versus a parasite because okay. a pawn is sent to kill and destroy your inner peace mm-hmm. so to me that person for you sounded like a pawn see that's to me okay. i mean but both i get them. actually it's both but, yeah well he could be all three yeah yeah when you stop and think yeah, about it he could be, yeah. yeah. be all three yeah. you know yeah. but mm-hmm. yeah i i I, I remember the relationship, so I see, <laughs> I see that person as a pawn, somebody that just came to kill, steal, and destroy, mm-hmm. versus somebody that came in your life. A project, to me, isn't a person that comes to take anything from you. They need your help, mm-hmm. but they're not. They don't want any. They don't want any harm to come to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where somebody that's a pawn doesn't care if you get hurt mm-hmm. as long as they get everything that they want to need. So that's how I see it, but that's you know, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. That makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, but it's more than one. Right? Yeah, so I mean, yeah you can find out. Right, right. That's true. <laughs> Help them along. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, um, mm-hmm. So, what do you feel about a pawn, Karen? I mean, mm-hmm. you feel the same way? Yeah. Same okay. way. I, I, mm-hmm. I, I would see that. To just come and destroy your inner mm-hmm. peace, right? Yeah, take, take right. from you, take, take from, from you, take from you, mm-hmm. which is like all the other ones. Is uh, um, you couldn't help you help them, and then you're mm-hmm. tired now, sure. it's sucking you dry because now you're tired and don't want to do nothing uh-huh. else. But now, oh, you don't want to be with me, so mm-hmm. you know, I'm I'm right. I, I'm just here because I need to be fulfilled, mm-hmm. yeah. So that would in that right. way will kill your, your spirit, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. kill your spirit, will right. make you. So in in a sense they like all in one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it just depends right. on what type so, of yes, season, oh, season or you what better, situation yeah. that's true. you're in. That right. it could be all mm-hmm. one. You mm-hmm. know, all one of them can fit. Though right. um, the one that is not the partner, right? The partner, the one that is not the partner. Yeah, the and, and that that, that leads me to the point of I was going to say all of these projects, parasites, and potentials to me are all presenters because they present to you Uh what you probably don't want or what Uh you do want you know what i'm saying Uh if you see you see somebody that's a parasite you know that if this person is draining me dry this person is then that this is the person okay i don't want to i don't want to be with them Mm-hmm. That's you know mm-hmm. this is not this is not what I want, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that leads you to me. All these people will prepare you for your partner. You know they presented yeah, to you good. all the things that you don't want and things that you do because mm-hmm. they even said he even said that the project or the parasite has potential. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. that they have potential. Mm-hmm. They have potential to be, you know, what you I don't want to say need or what you want what, them to what be. You want. What you want mm-hmm. them to be. You or know. even need, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. or, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or, or, or even right. need, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, and, but but that, like you said, a presenter. But and if they study enough, they know what you want too. Mm-hmm. So That's they're true. catered to what you want right. That's true. And, and what you need, mm-hmm. and, and really not even ready to be the partner that you mm-hmm. that you really want. Oh, you right. want a partner, right? You want but they'll partner. take you there, and that's why they're potential. So mm-hmm. all of them can be uh, eventually be potential or what have you. Mm-hmm. But what you need, because they know, especially the mm-hmm. pawn, the pawn, no, I'm right, just right, destroy right, you. Right. If I can get you where I want you to be, I can right. make you happy this minute and mm-hmm. next minute take it back from you. And right. you're like, what is going mm-hmm. on? Mm-hmm. My inner peace is gone. Right. You know? My yeah. inner peace yeah. is gone. So, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> But Karen, you said something that I took a mental note to, and you said that 
some of them study it. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Now, when you say that, and I have done a lot of research on narcissistic oh, behaviors, what? and that's what they say narcissistic narcissistic people do. They they see um, a person that they want to get to, and, and what they call them, they call them supply. Mm -hmm. You are their supply. So they study you. They study, you know, what you like. Mm -hmm. They study um, things about you, and they present it to you like oh well, oh well you know you like seafood well, I love seafood too and I'm just giving mm -hmm. a general example mm -hmm. right. you know mm -hmm. um, oh you've been divorced you know oh, I've been divorced too you know mm -hmm. or whatever and they study you so they can they can draw you in right they can, they can draw right. you in mm -hmm. so that's what you know you made a good mm -hmm. point they, right. they do mm -hmm. so but we gotta read the book to hear more huh you got to read the book <laughs> read the book to get to more. more you know what I'm saying you got right. to right. right. my nuts Okay, well, you know, that brings us, we've talked about projects, we've talked about parasites, pawns, um, partners. Do you ladies think that you have found your partner? Your life mate, your soul mate, you know. <laughs> well, let me just start. Let's start with the married lady. <laughs> My part <laughs> gonna be short. <laughs> Twenty-four years in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I found a partner. Okay. <laughs> now that we come to the partner, partner thing. Yeah, right. Now, I never thought um, he was a a, a parasite, mm -hmm. nor a pawn. Um, but when I think of project, it could be I could have saw potential in him as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. But I do know he was my partner before I saw. While I was seeing the potential, I knew he was my partner because God told me he was mm -hmm. my partner. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference. So right, I, I right, prayed right. about it. I can remember in our dating state, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Oh, this ain't gonna work. Let me find you a girlfriend. You know, mm -hmm. this ain't gonna work. Mm -hmm. You know, but no, the Lord showed me one day. Nope, this is whom I have ordained y'all to be. So He is my partner and my soulmate. Mm -hmm. So, okay. so, but, but, as, but we have grown now. I can mm -hmm. say, um, as we grown, there could be seasons or what have you where mm -hmm. you can see um, a project. I mean, because we're still learning each other. Right. So we have projects right, right, each right, other, right. learning each other. And mm -hmm. and as me being, a, um, I am a proud cougar, so he is younger. Mm -hmm. right. Me thinking I had to take up a role. But um, mm -hmm. then I learned that, no, nah, this is my partner. I don't have mm -hmm. to. I don't have to be the project manager. I don't have to be the uh, the parasite. You're not mm -hmm. something we, we in this thing together. Mm -hmm. And you're not, I'm not going to lose my inner peace. Mm -hmm. And that's just stages you go through through marriage anyway. Right. Yeah. yeah. You think, right. you know, so that's a whole nother topic. Okay. You know? right. <laughs> yeah, we, can, we can talk about the stages that you go through where where I thought at one point that I had to be everything to everybody, but then I realized, hey, you ain't got, you ain't got to do that. It's, it's a team effort. Right. Here's your partner. Right. You've got right. a That's partner what here. For, right. That's yeah. what he's yeah. for. Yeah. We have a yeah. partner. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm very pleased that yeah, I have right. found a partner. And, and, and he wasn't the first, so there was, there was you know, mm -hmm. plenty more, but this time I knew that this was a partner. Okay. Yeah, this was a partner. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. Right. That's a blessing. It is. Right. It, it is. 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 Especially in 24 years. Yeah, you know. Right. You know, we did that Valentine's episode, and all she kept talking about, love it, love it, love it. 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 Love it, love it
I made a mistake or we made a mistake. Uh, sometimes I think, you know, we should still be together. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we call our, our show SMD, Single Married Divorce. Mm -hmm. Actually, we should name it Single Married Divorce and Dumb as Hell because, you know, because <laughs> sometimes I'm like, dang, you know, I messed this up. But, mm -hmm. you know, he, he could have been my, you know, actual partner. But, you know, you learn, you live, you learn, you know. Right. And, and things happen. And things happen. Mm -hmm. You know, things happen, you know, excessively you listening, you know, just hit me up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> hit, you know, hit me up. But, um, <laughs> but um, you know, that's how I feel. So, mm -hmm. you know. So, ladies, do we have anything else we want to say as we end this segment? Episode 12? Episode 12. Yes, yeah, so. I think the only thing. All I think if I had anything else to say is one thing that uh, Pastor Jerry Farmer says is that you have to have discernment uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. so you know when you're meeting a project so mm -hmm. you know when you meet a parasite so you know when you meet a pawn but you especially know when you meet your partner mm -hmm. so um I, unfortunately, like I said, yeah, I haven't, I haven't met my partner. Um, okay. That don't mean he ain't out there. Yeah, he, yeah. Out there. Yeah. he out there. I mean, he out there somewhere. You know, God yeah. said he made somebody for everybody. <laughs> Mine's is just hitting very well. <laughs> you know, right, right. But yeah, um, Gemini. Right, right, right. I'm 52. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I like to think, I like to play space. <laughs> circumstances right god bless us to um mm -hmm. have this time together you know sort of like a red table talk you know right, yeah. right, so it was, right. you know and uh once again thank you everyone for watching mm -hmm. smb viewpoints this is episode 12 please continue to like share subscribe tell a friend show a friend comment, comment, comment. hit the bell so you can get notifications right. please mm -hmm. And tell us what y'all next yeah, subject. Yeah, tell us what you want to hear. Yeah, tell us, yeah. you know, tell us what you like and everything. So, we are signing off from Karen, the married lady. Hi, Kim, the single lady. She's a Gemini. Right. And <laughs> Joplin, the divorcee. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I'll have you ladies all here. So I just wanted to ask this um, question. So a lot of people have been talking about something that happened at the Oscars recently. Mm -hmm. As we all know, Will Smith didn't like the joke that Chris Rock made about his wife, ended up walking on stage and, a stage and slapping him. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to know, as from someone who is in a married position, single position, and divorced position, mm -hmm. do you think that was the right thing for him to do, or do you believe that it was very wrong? Oh, coming from a divorced lady, I'll start off. Um, I believe that was very wrong. I'm not saying that he didn't do it at the spur of the moment. He was heated. You know, sometimes we do things, you know, at the spur of the moment. But I believe that he was wrong. And mm -hmm. as Jada, she probably wanted to feel protected. And any woman wants to feel protected, mm -hmm. you know. But that was the wrong way to go about it. And I believe that she should have stopped him. She... You know, you know, right. he's going to stage do something. Right. You know, so hey, you know, right. take this backstage. Right. You know, mm -hmm. so what, what do you think? Right. Well, like I said before, um, I, I said kudos to Will for giving Jada a sense of protection. Mm -hmm. um, that, no, I ain't going to just let nobody talk about you and nothing get done. But I don't think what he done was what needed to be done. Mm -hmm. I think that that was a behind the scenes, back in the stage, you know, behind the stages, a thing to do. 
um, not walk up on the stage and slap the shit out somebody. And they now, what do I do? Cause I I don't have Will Smith money. <laughs> I don't I don't have that. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't for I ain't four hundred million dollars rich, so I don't have his money. So what do I do? And I host these Oscars every year. You know this is. This is my job mm -hmm. right now. So what do I do? So yeah, I think that was just a, 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 a bad, very bad way to express do not, you know, disrespect my wife in that way. Yeah. Yep. And me being a married woman, yeah, I, I understand the protection of, that's what I expect from my husband. But at this time, it had been, no, nah, babe, we'll handle this later. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get this later. Mm -hmm. Let's do this behind because we want to... Mm -hmm. um, we're at the table. Let's play at the table. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know I understand protecting black women. I understand mm -hmm. my husband protecting me. But I, I am my own person. And I can really protect myself. Mm -hmm. You know, but we just right. happen, I just happen to have a partner that can do right, it. Right. But we'll at this it. moment, mm -hmm. and we'll do it. But mm -hmm. at this moment, now I, I got, let's sit back. We'll talk to him later. I'll handle him later. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll handle him later. You know, because mm -hmm. as you being my partner and my husband, we can go mm -hmm. talk to them and you do what you have to do, but right. let's do it behind closed mm -hmm. doors. So. Right. Great question. Yeah, we... I just want to give my answer, even though I know I'm the cameraman. I really yeah, shouldn't be. Okay. But the way that I see it is that everyone keeps saying, you know, Will laughed at first. And, you know, that the way the way that I see it is that Chris Rock is comedian. He's going to make jokes about you or he's going to make jokes about a situation. You may not like the joke, but at the end of the day, it is a joke. Now, sure, you know, he may, he may, maybe he did, or maybe he didn't know she had alopecia. Maybe, again, maybe he did, or he didn't. But it was the fact that it was that it was a joke, and that Will made, maybe didn't even think about, oh, maybe he doesn't know about her condition, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe he was like, I, you know, maybe that sounded a little wrong, but maybe it was more of a lighthearted joke. Maybe I shouldn't take it as hard. Now, I understand as a guy, you know, you want to protect a girl, you know, when you, when you, especially when you love her and you marry her, you want to protect her, you want her to feel happy. But the way that I see it is that violence is not the way to do that. Mm -hmm. And as an actor, and as an actor on one of the, um, on one of the shows that I have saw, they had told Will three words, use your words. And I very much agree with that. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, hold on. This is my 19 year old son, everybody. He sounds so good. It's the note. It's the note. It's the note. It's the note. I'm sorry, producer. Go ahead. Oh, my. What's the next question? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that that, would, be that would be it. That would be it.